So one of the issues that we face um, in 3D printing uh, is material shrinkage. And that, of course, occurs uh, as a consequence of heating the filament uh, being laid down in layers and subsequently cooling. And the shrinkage properties um, are dependent on the type of material. ABS is a classic example of a material that shrinks quite severely and can cause problems in both uh, warping on your um, printed bed and um, changing the dimensions of whatever you are trying to print. So what I uh, do when I need to um, make a design that requires a certain amount of precision um, in dimensions, for example bolt holes, is um, at least in Fusion 360, which is what I use for my designs, is I create something that I call a filament shrinkage offset or FSO. And I do this via the user parameters um, because using these parameters enables you to uh, reuse the same values in multiple dimensions and then easily change all of those dimensions simply by going to the parameters window. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's assume we're going to be using ABS. So I create a parameter called ABS filament, sorry, ABS material shrinkage and in my experience for me it's 0 0.3 millimeters and then I'm going to create another parameter called material shrinkage and this is a generic parameter that will then use the specific material that I want to use for this design. And just as an example, I'm going to create a um, bolt diameter parameter. And I know the bolt is 3 millimeters uh, in diameter. And I'm going to then add the material shrinkage. Now, it's important I'm adding the material shrinkage, not the ABS material shrinkage, because I want it to be flexible in whatever material I decide to print. So I'll just add another um, imaginary parameter here, call it latch width, which is 24 plus our material shrinkage. Again, I don't use the specific material, I use the generic material shrinkage parameter. And so now we've got two of these parameters using our material shrinkage. Now, some people may say, oh, this is overkill, why do you have these two parameters? Well, what if I decide, for example, to print this particular model, not an ABS, but PLA. I decide that I don't need ABS, maybe the um, bed, the, sorry, the warping that occurs on the bed is just um, too difficult for me to resolve, for whatever reason. So I come along and I think, okay, I'm going to, I want to use PLA, I'm going to create a PLA material shrinkage FSO, or filament shrinkage offset as I call it. And I know through experience it's about 0.2 mil. This is an arbitrary arbitrary value. Probably depend on your printer and your own experience. But we'll make a 0.2. Now if I want to update the dimensions for the parameters in my model, I don't need to go to each specific parameter. I simply go to the material material shrinkage generic parameter and change that to PLA. And as you can see on the right hand side of, for the values, everything will auto magically update. And that's how I factor in material shrinkage in my designs using Fusion 360.